men made the journey to Malta for the toughest test in strength athletics. And so far, six men have emerged from their qualifying groups and staked their claims to positions in the world's strongest man final. Today, six more athletes from around the globe will begin their quest to join them. It's the qualifying round for group number four. This is the world's strongest man. Welcome to Malta, the Mediterranean island that became independent in 1964. Today, it's the host for the 32nd edition of the World's Strongest Man as Group 4 begins their qualifying round. Todd Harris here with Bill Kazmaier at the Valletta Waterfront for the first of six events, the medley. Todd, in the medley, strength is critical as always, but footwork and speed are also important. First, they'll need to drag a 740-pound anchor and chain for 10 meters. Then it's two kegs that each need to be carried 10 meters and placed on a platform. Now to the first team, here's 26-year-old Mark Chalet of England making his second appearance at the World's Strongest Man. He's deceptively strong. I love his fire. And this is Agris Kazelniks of Latvia. He's a rookie at 36 years of age. Solid as a rock, and he'll need to be. He's in the contest of his life. 35-year-old Etienne Smith is also making his World's Strongest Man debut. Six times South Africa's strongest man. I'm anxious to see what he can do on the world stage. Take position! They start off with a chain and anchor cast. That's 740 pounds. That's a tough pull. It's all about footwork in this one. Lawrence Chalet, the first to complete the first apparatus. Nice load with the barrel. Kazelnis uh, is struggling with it. Looks like Chalet is going to be Smith to the line. And it's Lawrence Chalet who puts up the mark to beat. Yeah. 23.84 for Lawrence Chalet. He is your current leader in the medley. For Agris Kazelniks, 33.85 puts him currently in third place. And in second place, Etienne Smith of South Africa, 25.58. to Malta, an island nation in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and the scenic backdrop for the ultimate test of strength. This is the world's strongest man. Hello once again, everyone. I'm Todd Harris. Well, today, qualifying group number four begins their run towards the final. In this group, the headliner has got to be Travis Ortmeyer from Texas. He impressed his fellow competitors last year in West Virginia with his incredible explosiveness and his off-the-charts intensity. Sweden's Johannes Orho is back for his second year and looks to be in fantastic form. He could be a threat in the final. Another Scandinavian with tons of potential is Norway's Richard Skoog. This will be his third run at the title and is determined to improve upon last year's finish. And we've already seen the fiery Englishman, Lawrence Chalet. Not the biggest guy in the group, but he has shown that he will not back down from any test. Right now, let's check in with my colleague, World's Strongest Man champion three times over, Bill Kazmaier, who is standing by at the second event of the day. Todd, I'm here at beautiful Valletta Harbor, and let me tell you, this truck pull is going to be an absolute monster. This 44,000-pound load is so huge that some of these guys are going to be beaten mentally before they're even strapped in. The athletes will need to expend a tremendous amount of power just to supply the initial thrust. As the truck begins creeping along, they'll need to withstand an enormous strain as they attempt to stay low and drive with their legs and pull with their arms, with every step hurting a little worse than the last on the 25-meter course. The athlete who wins here will not necessarily be the man with the biggest body mass or the greatest power. Instead, it'll be the one with the most heart and desire. All right, thanks, Kaz. Before we move on in the competition, let's take a moment and meet all the athletes in qualifying group number four. Jim Smith, South Africa. Johannes Orko, Sweden. Lawrence Schachmann, England. Agris Kozenic, Latvia. Richard Skog, Norway. Travis Ormeyer. USA. We're back at the Valletta waterfront for the second of two heats in the medley. And there's Travis Ortmeyer of USA. The 28-year-old reached the final in his debut a year ago. 6'4", 330. 
He's got it all. Power, speed, and explosiveness. Also 28 is Norway's Richard Skoog, a guy that had a fantastic year leading up to this event. Looks like he's gained some body mass since last year. Sweden's Johannes Orho is making his second appearance at 24 years of age. Really strong and quick for a 300-pounder. Remember, the time to beat, 23.84 seconds, which was posted by Lawrence Chalet of England, and he won. First up, the chain and anchor, 740 pounds. And look at Johannes Orho go. He is flying through this course. Fort Myers, six and second. Orho must have been a track athlete in the past. And at the line, it's Johannes Orho with the fastest time of both heats. He is your winner in the medley. Number one! Absolutely, especially in this event for Travis Ortmeyer. Third place, 24.15 seconds. And Richard Skoog, he will get fourth place, 25.03. Johannes Orho makes it look easy running at top speed while carrying a 230-pound barrel. Safe to assume that he's pretty pleased to edge out both Ortmeyer and Skoog. The medley winner is standing by with Bill. Johannes, you think you surprised the people in that event? You were really fast. Uh, these kind of events suit me very well, and I was hoping to do very well, and I'm very happy with that. You look great. Good luck. Thank you very much, Cass. Sweden's Johannes Orho wins the medley in a time of 22.09 and earns the six points that accompany it. In second, it was England's Chalet. Third went to the American Ortmeier. Richard Skoog of Norway finished fourth. In two trips to the world's strongest man, Travis Ortmeier has shown an unsurpassed enthusiasm for the sport. He'll take that passion to the truck pole when we return.